The time right now is just about 6.15. Happy Tuesday morning, everyone. What a beautiful sunrise we had this yeah, morning. Yeah, it was awesome, right? I've seen all the pictures that people are posting on our Facebook page, so keep them coming Love because it giving me energy and excited for today. Yeah, and it's going to be nice to look back at these pictures when it's dumping rain later today and we're oh, in the great. middle. Oh, great. I middle. can't wait. Yeah, the downpours will certainly be, I think, the biggest thing you'll notice about the day here. So let's take a look at Storm Tracker showing those right off to the west of us. That's right along a front that's going to be moving through from throughout the day. And it is right ahead of it, prompting a couple more showers uh, in our immediate area. But this, again, is what will be overhead of us in just a few hours, even a couple thunderstorms just north of the Seaway Valley. But in the meantime, it's very light, spotty rain right along seven. Some of those showers to the south, but Lincoln, Buell's Gore, and up towards perhaps Winooski, Colchester area, Burlington, going to find some of that light rain to kick off the day here. But most of us, not too bad for your morning drive just yet. Plus, temperatures are above average in Burlington at 65. 69 in Rutland, plenty warm there. Same with Bennington, a little cooler east of the Green Mountains. By the afternoon hours here, temperatures will stay near 70 by early afternoon and then jump into the mid 70s with the help of maybe a little bit of sunshine by the afternoon. But before we get there, we get that rain here. That's going to be a big theme for the day. By the end of the day, we're looking at a widespread half inch to an inch of that rain, maybe some locally higher amounts. So a good amount of that falling in a pretty short amount of time as that front moves through the area. Now the front brought to us by an upper level low. I want to point out this circle up to the north of us, this little target or bullseye. That's called a closed off low. So this is a very mature upper level low. And as it sits to the north of us in Canada, it's going to sit there for a couple days. While it drags the main band of that through the area today, as it sits to the north of us and doesn't go very far, it is going to trigger and spark a continued chance for some scattered, isolated showers and thunderstorms in the coming day. So we're going to be watching that, but that is what's to blame for some unsettled weather that will stick around even after the heavier rain that we find for today. Here it is, storm track or future cast rather showing those heavy rain pockets early or rather mid morning through the early afternoon. You can see these oranges and yellows. That's that heavier rain, maybe even a little rumble of thunder out of that as it makes its way through the area along that front. This is early afternoon. You're finding more pockets of heavier rain over Vermont, mainly by then with that dry up I mentioned happening from west to east behind all this. So hopefully a little bit of sunshine through this evening. Just got to get through those heavy rain and even downpours through the midday hours. Then tomorrow morning, we're drying up pretty nicely. The warm, moist air starts to build in for tomorrow afternoon. And I mentioned that upper level low sits to the north of us, and that just provides some energy for these thunderstorms that we'll find developing tomorrow afternoon. The good news about tomorrow's storms is that there won't be any washouts. They're not widespread and we'll get some sun in between. But if you have plans to be outside at all tomorrow, you're going to have to watch out for these little isolated thunderstorms with some downpours, thunder, lightning and gusty winds here or there. And then Thursday, it's much of the same. Some of those scattered to isolated thunderstorms and the chance for that again on Friday. So in addition to that, by Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, it's also going to be hot mid 80s and it's going to be humid for all of those days as well. A little cooler by the weekend, but a continued chance for some showers for your Saturday and Sunday.